I want this to be an organized business with some structure, because it's not right now. Chaos. If you say, we're not in a rush, it will take a year. You have to give deadlines on everything. The boys' production room, we're gonna add some shelving, do the floor, make it nice in there. We're going to take the 720 to King's Auto Body, because uh, I leave David alone for four days and he screws my kid up. I'll text them to you in a minute. All right, cool. And then I'll text you some pictures right over right now. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. No worries. Bye. Getting the floor done. I put a post on Instagram. This guy's a big DD fan. He's going to hook us up. So we need to do um, linoleum floors in the laminate floor. Not linoleum. It's not the 70s. In the office for the production team. But again, I, I feel like the shop needs to be on brand. And right now it's not. So I spent a lot of late nights. Last night until 2 in the morning. Tying up, cleaning up, getting organized. Mm -hmm. So that when you come to work, it's like a really nice uh, environment for boys to work in. And as we expand, to me, that's important. But that comes from working at Starbucks and like, your first experience is one of positive and on brand. So you want to treat your customers good, you have to treat your people good. So when your customers be in a comfortable environment, so should your people. When well, you guys to watch the videos and enjoy the videos, you guys should enjoy coming to work. So tonight, that's how it happens. I'm all about getting things done now. I don't, I, my brain won't let me go next week. So I said, hey, who can come tonight and install floors? And this company, this construction company is going to come do that. I also want to look at redoing the bathrooms and some other stuff. So stay tuned for that. Back to the main vlog filming. Get it done! Just uh, well, give me a second because I need to get my stuff together so I can. Get stuff, throw it in the box. This will blow your mind. Watch this. Try to get this. Okay, final set. That's the old way. Print it, pen and paper. Welcome to the digital age ship station. Automate all those boring, tedious tasks using one platform, one back. One dashboard that's already integrated with sites. It's a good line up there, you see that? It's already. Oh, it's... Again, see, again. One easy to use dashboard that's already integrated with sites you're already using eBay, Etsy, Shopify, to have a few. It's already there and that's work for Proof you. You don't have to be perfect to do this job. You, money. you just have to be willing to not give up. Four percent off USPS and UPS rates. Save money, it's any more profits. You can buy designer luggage. I went to this guy's Instagram account. It's crazy. <laughs> Is that a real person or is it a... That's a real person. Oh, that's crazy. They choreograph it. Watch this. Where's the... Where was it? Watch. Starting a business can be very difficult. We need the right partners to help you scale. You found your product, in our case, the most epic merch ever made. Ooh, coming soon. Now, to sell something, make money, get the more than one. Dave has just told us that, you know. Everybody out! Hey, hey you know, just bought that. All right, so we spent a whole bunch of money. Like, I've earned the right to damage the company property. Seven years. My anniversary's coming up. Okay. I knew it was a good idea to get the Let's go. So, no, 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 it's really great to work in. Uh, so Dave is evicting us out of our office. Um, he has a whole bunch of modifications he wants to do to this office. Every single person that works here comes from the mind child of Damon and I. So every room is our room and every room has to be productive. If you're working chaos, it's going to affect your ability to have a cognitive Here, conversation. Mark. This room is yours, bro. Now I put a post on Instagram, a fan, JD Construction said, I'll come do it. I'll do it tonight. And I want to work with you guys in the future other stuff, so I'm gonna give you a really good deal on this room. So I went to Home Depot, got some uh, flooring oh. and some trim and baseboards, and they come do it at seven o'clock. So we'll be here in an hour or two hours. And this is done. And then we can reassemble this office before I fly home tomorrow at one o'clock. This is done, that office is done, this is done. That worked out really well with the garage floors too. All right. Who the f was at the Apple store? <laughs>
I was. That guy, and he didn't even go there. Got delivered. The guy who, who, for the guy who delivered it was very weird. <laughs> yeah, we knew we needed that, actually. Yeah. I want to go to your house and do a bedroom tour. Okay. Right, right now. now. Right you don't now. get any warning. No. Right now. No. Right now. No. How bad is your room? <laughs> he wouldn't even show you on a video stream. For, forget going to his house. Yeah, my, my room's bad. I don't have much time that I spend at home, so my room gets dirty very fast. Could be the other Sounds way around. Like a choice. I'm not home much, so my room just stays clean. Well, <laughs> yeah. What? Don't try to mind three parents. Hey, We're here. We know all the games. I'm on exactly. my I'm on my third kid. Presley has no excuses anymore. She gets halfway through a sentence. I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah. Shut it right down. Tell me about it after the room's clean. That's right. Then, then yeah. Yeah. Tell me about how it didn't work after you're finished doing it. Yeah. Oh, there's too much stuff. There's nowhere for it to go. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll just I'll yeah, just well, put it all in the I'll, trash. I'll donate and to then, I'll yeah. donate it to the girl down the Do street who'd be more grateful. Right. 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 You don't have any issues. Right. issues right. You don't have any right. stuff. So we, we get so old and so parenty, eh? Yeah, no, it'll, it'll all like to the point where like now as employers we're like, Mark, we want to see your house at home. I want to see your room. You can't live like. How do your parents feel about this? We sit you down, like, full intervention, like, us and your parents. You're like, wow, this got really weird. I thought Damon and Dave were cool. Look at that. That's cool. How did you get a patch not on a shirt? Dave gave it to me. Raymond gave it to me. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Put it right here like this. Cover the DD logo. It's like it's crashing. I'm excited. I like it. Dave's making some new changes here at DDHQ. Wheel it on out. too many posters that say DD on the walls, including everybody wearing a t-shirt all at the same time, but hey, it reminds you of what you should be getting for your house. DD flags, a bunch posters, of banners, whatever we call well, them. Like Get like 20 of them and just coat your house in them just like I, we did. I don't like the poster behind the couch in the room. I actually like this Technically, one. Dave's the only cello right now who's not wearing a single piece of DD merch when everybody else is. Even Fourth Wall has merch on. We can't show you because he doesn't exist, but he's wearing it. Mm-hmm. It's all good. We'll let Dave slide. He is a big Lakers fan. And someone's like, doesn't like, doesn't I'm like, no, but I like the color arrangement. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't miss a game. Okay? Someone was asking me on the flight back from Vegas, by the way, speaking of like things you don't like to attend, everyone's like, are you coming to F1? I was like, hell no. We went to one. We actually might be going. Why? <laughs> um, we're doing stuff for, um, so just people want, there's companies that are looking to host an event. Are you joking right now? Mm -mm. Oh. So if we get paid, it's business. Yeah. All right. I, have to go, I will stop my rant. Right, I was about fine. to go on. Right there. I'll stop I'm sure right Mike there. would. I, I said to all the people on the plane who asked me if I was going to F1, I would love to be going. I just can't afford to go. I love F1 in we person. Wouldn't go, we wouldn't go and spend thirty thousand dollars for the weekend. Yeah, we would. The ROI isn't there, but we'll go if we get paid to. We would totally go and spend thirty thousand dollars on a weekend. <laughs> well, you would. You go to Vegas and do that. That's what you just did. It was my weekend. wife's birthday. Changing the floors was really going to change this room because right now it's super janky looking. You know, it feels dirty. I get why they put carpet in here is because the previous, the original owner, owner still the owner, uh, before, long before, unfortunately, he passed away. They actually lived in here while they renovated their house. I think I've mentioned this before. So I get it. They put carpet down and cabinets and made it feel homey because they were in here. What did they say? A year and a half? Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't, when they talk, I don't listen. <laughs> they say, hey, get pr a permission before you do any leasehold improvements. I say, absolutely. So anyway, we're tearing up the carpet today and doing the floors. But the trick is, when they get this place back, if we don't buy it, we might end up buying it. Well, it depends on how the business revolves. But uh, all the things we do, like all money we spend is theirs. We don't own this. We're just basically just renting it. So the floors, the lighting, every light we've changed. Every light's gone to LED because we film. We won't want for us to flickering. That was 10 grand. So being a landlord's a good deal. Plus it's triple net, which means we pay property taxes, all the strata fees. Well, what's the saying? If it flies, floats, or is built on the corner of a uh, surveyor circle, lease it? We need these plants as well. Those plants need to go. I remember the few the other day. Yeah, you drove over them with the hummer. Did you like that? Yes. <laughs> it was actually very aggressive. I was impressed. Did you watch the video where I hit the f***ing uh, crate for the body kit? Oh, dude. I hit it hard. Dude, is it in a video already? Whoa! My wife's like, was the kit in there? I was like, I don't know, it's Dave, probably. <laughs> I, he said he was gonna it's unbox it. Unbox he said it was gonna be the most dramatic unboxing ever on Daily Driven Exotics. Damon's $90,000 kit has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hold on, I have security footage. Oh, dude, what a mess. <laughs> That's impressive. And the interior. Hummer just drive over anything, hey? Like, effortless. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, hey? Didn't even flinch. You're doing a job for him, Mark? Hey, brother. You gotta get it done. <laughs> oh, thanks for getting it done. No problem. So, we don't want to do. I'm not sure the transitions go in. Hopefully, he bought the transition piece. I've actually done laminate floors before. It's not hard. It just takes time. What's in that hatch? Is it really a hatch? There's a hatch right here. Get in there. Get in the crawl Pass space. the fourth wall. It's in the hatch. hatch. That's crazy though. <laughs> Set Mark down. By the way, no I sent that kit kit. to the guy who made the kit. And I said, thanks, but no thanks. You can take your shitty kit back. Did you actually? No. Break that off, do you imagine? Tax strip. What is that, that strip for? Get in here. What is that for? It's what the carpet sticks in. Hold up. Yeah, ah! <laughs> the 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 yeah. Holy sh! Don't change it, get it open. <sighs> Did you spin Dude, it? Dude, alright, we'll He's get the it. Hummer winch. Did you spin it before He's... trying to unlock it? He's bought it. We'll get Why the Why would you spin it? Why would you spin it? Why wouldn't you just try to turn the handle and see if it would open? Uh, okay, it doesn't open. <laughs> You don't say. <laughs> but we can always call. You would make an awful pirate. Surgery. Yeah. He <laughs> <You're laughs> <not laughs> spins it before he tries to open it. I don't know much about safe. We could have made gold bricks in there. <laughs> we could have all been retired. Now we'll never know. You could just be retired if you want. That's cool though. I was not expecting that. You expected that? Yep. Really? Yep. That lid gave it away. The lid. Well, let's not go on. They come by four and still be gone forever. Yeah. Well, should we try and? Uh, the thing that's really, open? the thing that's really interesting that we should talk about off camera is maybe the landlord lady doesn't even know that's there. Like, what if that actually was unlocked and actually had something in it? You know. Well, here's the thing. There's no way like his mistress is number. <laughs> she was the mistress. Oh, that's right. She was the mistress. Oh, uh, uh, she's in there. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> This would be a really big transition for you guys. We need to get some dry, like you mentioned some magic erasers for the walls because they're disgusting from Mark's hands. Why are you touching the walls all the time? I don't touch the walls. Was that fourth wall doing that? By the way, you're making this fourth wall. For sure it's fourth wall. <laughs> yeah. We were gonna show this fourth wall on it. Don't talk so to me. So the, the term fourth wall comes from reality TV. So when you're a camera guy on reality TV, you don't engage. If someone's choking on the ground, you film them and watch them die. So people keep asking me, this is a ProTech knife, and uh, my buddy Jeff, he got this for me, so he's got his Childers Motorsports engraved on it, but this thing is uh, very nice. I love this knife. And yes, it's California legal, probably, I don't know. <laughs> Need a carpet and get out of here, bike you're fired! <laughs> I need this for my house. <laughs> I've actually, when I was younger, tried to make money selling houses, so I would buy a house and then do all this shit. But I get to force and lose it all, so. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Uh, Tim, you got staples in the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> oh, I knew. sponsors to do some more on wall branding and we're actually going to do it in a bigger way rock form is a little one but that big white banner that would be a rock form banner the whole thing so it's big and then we have another agency that does a lot of billboard advertising in la and we're actually going to get an actual billboard with the lights and everything to put up on that wall are they going to do that we're, it's close that's a good idea whoever came up with that That's actually really cool. Dude. I got you a bunch of stuff. I got you a wallet and shit for it. Where's all the cool stuff I got, Mark? 
Yeah, I'm the only one that comes bearing gifts. Three duffel bags and I get nothing. Then all of a sudden it's, bags. Mark, where'd you put your stuff? Uh, Mark, we, where's all the rock stuff I got the other day? You can share your duffels? You can share your duffels? You can keep all three. I'll put you on eBay how much they sell for it. Just sell it and make some money. <laughs> um, we need to go through all the lockers in the back, the boardroom, dump everything out, put the camera gear there, then anything brand deal goes in the locker and no one takes it home. So the wood wall. Man, that's crazy. Like, that's on there. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, it takes some muscle to get it off. Let me know if you need it. So what's this supposed to do? It's, uh, like, it's supposed to hold it so you can hold your phone so up like things. that? So like this? It's like a five-hour flight tomorrow. Yeah. And it leaves at 6 a.m. From what airport? LAX. Oh, my God. Where are you staying tonight? I don't know. Where are you staying? I usually stop in the shop the past two nights. I'll stay with you. In the shop? Yeah. Did you? Wherever. Did you go get a uh, bed? Nope, there's stuff in the chairs. You got carbon fiber. Oh wow, that's cool. Some fine right, hours. That. Yeah, that's sick. Oh, we need to do a little bit of purge. So at midnight, there's no rules, 24 hours. No, is it midnight to dawn purge? It was, I don't know what time of day it was, but I know it was 24 It was for 24 hours. hours. What, 24 hours? It started at midnight and went for 24 hours. No, no, it was midnight until the sun came up. Mm. Google it. No, you're right. It was overnight. It wasn't 24 hours. Jesus Christ. The sh we keep in here. Um, yeah. Let me well, tell you. This is a gumball glove. Like. TV bracket. Hey, you guys here for the party? Hello? You guys here to party or what? Yeah. All right, let's party. Look at this, the job's already done. We're doing a read, we're doing a read done. We're just gonna charge in. <laughs> All right, Dave. I'm, I'm able, yeah. Nice to meet you, Dave. Man, nice. Thanks for messaging me. Yeah, you look? What do you guys do? Just uh, what's the renovation stuff? Or? Renovations, kitchen, bathrooms. Our bathrooms are gross. Come see our bathroom. Get your advice on this. <laughs> we, we lease this building. Watch out for that. So to spend a bunch of money on a bathroom is kind of hard because we don't own it. We have three years left in our lease, but uh, the bathroom's from 1984. Put anything in there? Yeah. 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 Musky urine. <laughs> September 29th, we're dropping our DDE, DDE uh, mechanic slash uh, because race car line. So don't sleep on this one, boys and girls, because it was so fast and it'll live your whole life from regret. And nothing is worse than a man's eyes when he's 86 years old talking about the things he wish he had done. And the biggest thing he says is, I wish I would have bought that hoodie and they dropped it 30 years ago. ShopDD.com. Smash right to that door, I would die. How are you? Thanks for coming. Cows are crossing the road, bro. I get it, man. <laughs> Move over, Dave. This is JD of JD Construction here in Huntington Beach. If you got a problem with that, the young guy will fight you. No, no, no. That guy right there. That's what I'm putting That guy right there. Um, no, no, this guy right this here. This guy? Dude. This guy's the bodyguard. He's a, he's a big dude. <laughs> Renovations. It's fun doing this. It's fun doing this. We don't have to do the work yourself. When you've done it in the past, you know it's a lot of work. These guys with their gear and like they do, they'll, they'll make this look so simple. If I did it, it like put on like a size small sweatshirt. Hi, I'm Dave. Hi, Maddie. Nice to meet you. She's my designer. Very nailed it, huh? I, I stayed on there. I hung this. Uh, signed by Lewis Hamilton. When we were uh, in F1 in Abu Dhabi, they gave us as a gift, and it fell off and smashed immediately. And oh my down. god! Well, since you touched it, it's not your problem. Dave, imagine an LED DDE here. Why is that done yet? Let's go. No. I don't think this is this stuff. This is called checking the boxes. You're, you're a designer? Yes. Okay, come with me. 
We have all the space. Get, like old gas pumps would be cool. That would be really cool. Take some old like VP one tank race fuel tanks and make something out of it. Um, ideally, that'll all be sponsors on the walls. Okay. So you can get paid. Heck yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it so far. But it has like a, this is a warehouse that uh, an older couple lived in while they were renovating their house. So it has a kitchen and it had bedrooms and stuff. Oh wow. Yeah. So but, what have you done to the, do you use that area a lot? Um, no, we should though. I mean, you have a lot of usable space. Is there a kitchen? <laughs> I love it. We have a dining room? That's a picture of our founder, Damon Fryer. <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, when we first got this place, we thought we were like cooking. We don't use this for anything. We don't. The thing is, we leased it. We have three and a half years left in our lease. So the tear out a kitchen, reinstall a kitchen makes no sense. Makes no the sense. bathrooms are really gross. It would be nice to do the bathrooms, even one of them. So when like people yeah. come to visit, it's not this gross experience because right now it is. It's not the bad. one in the shop you want, yeah, it's got, it has a water that's urinal in it. Um, not so good. Um, but we basically have our boardroom in here. We'll have meetings and whatnot. Is we, it okay to stop? Oh in? yeah, you're good. There's no, there's nothing hidden here. It's covered with whiteboards because that'd be funny. Yeah. Damon bought the whiteboards here. I, I got these. You like them? So I, I added more just to mess with them. Yeah, I actually got this similar whiteboards for a client of mine, and they act well. Okay, so they got these, and then they end up getting a digital one. Oh, that's cool. It's really cool. I'm gonna see if so I can. Do they want to trade digital for these old <laughs> ones? <laughs> Imagine. No, but we could trade them, right? We could probably get the digital ones and all you guys just write down the notes and just ends up there. You can even use a stylus to actually write on the whiteboard. On the digital and, can, and then it'll be like Wi-Fi, so it'll convert to... Yes, so it'll... That's actually smart. It'll actually go to your device. And they have two really old gross bathrooms there. <laughs> and then... Wait, sorry, are you thinking of renewing the Can race? I see your papers? I don't know. You don't know yet. A lot. In our business, three years from now is a lot. Yeah. I could be dead. I'll come back to life though. <laughs> and then I have uh, my office in here, which I actually just recently did. See? Okay, That's cozy. Cool. Yeah, it's not bad. Cozy, I like it. And then just this area here, we're gonna do like a little mock merch store for our stuff. Okay. So that backup is actually from an event we went to and I just brought it back with me. That's actually pretty cool. But we talked about doing a neon sign there once. The problem is realistically is time, like we make videos and run a company, so to sit there and design a sign, it's sort of like the lowest possible priority I got you. in the world of what you we're need, doing. You need an LED sign walking in. So there is this really cool wall. One LED sign that the DD logo on it? Yeah. Yeah, we could. We did that when we first that. came here, like two years ago. Yeah, I think the boss calls it tonight, though. Can you do it tonight? We should get a, we should get a bunch of LED signs. We're like, we should get some neon signs. I mean, obviously, this is not what Well, that's doing. cool. Yeah. So this is one of the LED uh, walls that we did for a football player. That's cool. Um, but there's something LED here. Like you need so to- our logo, like our logo and LED. Yeah, so I was thinking the logo here. Do you like that banner I put up? It's beautiful. No, it's awful. It's He's you. on it. That's the founder right there, Damon Fryer. You just met him. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Drive a truck as well, you know. 1,500 miles straight. You can even stop for fuel. Hard day's work, right there. It's heavy. I was actually shocked when I got the box. Like, for laughing. I'm strong. They're 10 pounds a box. Woo! All right, we already secured the job. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be for two months. Pretty 
Is that it? Heat. Good, nicer room to work in. Right. It was pretty bad in here. Dark. For a combination of Mark's personal hygiene. Dude, Mark's a 25 year old, it's actually 20, isn't he? Teenager. <laughs> Not like half eaten chickens everywhere. Like eat half a chicken, like uh -huh. in the grocery store, then hide the carcass somewhere. All over the place. That was his thing. That's his thing. That's his thing. This counselor calls it a crux. I don't understand it. How chicken mm -hmm. has anything to do with his mental health. It does. Well, you know, the, the young generation just. Oh, he's not that young. He's a 20, though. Okay. Looks 40. Okay. Oh my god. Long one. Long one, baby. Shit. Want some in the room? You got the bus? No. Now my mom needs to borrow the car. Yeah, well, we did that original character, dude. Yeah. That was tough. Woo! Mark won't appreciate it, but I do. This looks awesome, man. Come on, good. So, JD Construction. JD build Construction. it with JD.com. Yes. You guys service Orange County. Just Orange County. You don't want anything to uh, in Orange a, County? A few LA counties, but for the most part, Orange County. We stick around here. It looks good, thank you. No worries, man. I made an Instagram post, and JD hit me up with like 10 minutes later, and was like, I got you. And was here the same day. Cause I'm impulsive like that. If I had to plan this, I'd never do it. But yeah, I'll do it later. Has to right now. Now, if you're a customer, that's not how it works. This is special, okay? I got hooked up. So you can't call me like I want it done right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Unless you pay 10x the price. So now we're gonna give JD a tour. Damon. Yeah, he left. Yeah, we're gonna give him a tour. Yeah, We borrowed this. It's a 550 race car. We built this from a, you know all this shit. If you watch all the videos, I didn't explain it. So we sold this to somebody in the Philippines. So they put the AC back in, and now it's gonna go back to Canada, get exported to the Philippines, and we're gonna fly to Manila to deliver it to the customer. Now that we have customers, we won't sell cars. This is a personal car that somebody offered to buy off of us. Most cars we just keep forever. Or yeah. we turn them into other cars. And then we've got Garrett because he's here. Um, my gold squadron Corsa. So, one of 50 in the world, the only one that has a bridge fail kit. So, it's truly one of one. And then we have the actual Lamborghini Huracan race car in the corner there. That one fits your style. The gold one? The gold one. Yeah. Totally, yeah. This is my favorite one. Yeah, this is the F1. 60 days left or 63 days Something left, right? right. This is our first major build, we're taking a perfectly clean 2013 Ferrari F12, you know, $300,000 car. Tear it down to the frame, weld, weld in the cages and the steering stuff and the pedals, and it's gonna get a fully built motor, sequential gearbox. This is our biggest, like, budget-wise, and like, the point of no return that this car's destroyed. It's a race car now. Bank wants it back. Well, actually, our lease is up in November. This car's leased. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I told you. We have, I think, 10 cars right now. They're kind of scattered. We have a couple cars in Canada. My Ferrari 59 is in Canada, the gated one. Damon's Hurricane's in Canada. Our Mercy Lago's in Florida. Um, we have another car, but I'll tell you off camera, we just bought a couple cars actually. And then. The SPJ's still in the UK? The SPJ's in London. It's all fixed, but I can't get insurance over there. So I'm gonna have to fly that car home. $22,000 to get it home. It's not bad. How much did it cost to get there? 30? Well, you know, You're saying it's a money It was more going than coming back. Uh, it's so designed for them. He knocks the floor, so the seat kind of sits below the floorboard or something. It's cool in person. We've all of our fab equipment. We have that huge plaza table we got from Malta. So we can do everything here. We're going to get a mill next, I think. We're looking for a mill or a lathe. I don't know. We have all that stuff. Most of the stuff's from World War II era. But the, the uh, the big drill press looking thing over there is from the 40s. So it came from the National Airplane Factory. I like to think it built the P-51 Mustangs. I have no evidence to support that, I just think it. The yeah, we make a lot of shit happen as a shop. The first year was a nightmare because we had a, a plan that didn't work out in the end. So we basically just burnt lease payments for a year, not knowing what to do with it. I tried to get out of it at one point. The city almost kicked us out at one point. But then we brought my guests on board and Tim and then things really changed.
because doing this is hard. Like we, we don't sell cars. Like we're not a business. We don't sell anything. This is all just making YouTube videos. How crazy is that? It's pretty crazy, dude, to think from where it started to where it's at now. I still oh. remember when he approached you with the proposition, you know, that's... Yeah, it's been a trip. And even, even from then, I still went back and just watched everything when I was done with no more videos. Because before, you didn't post every day. So no. then I would want to watch more, so I just went all the way back and then started all the way until I caught up. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a journey. We've got some big plans. It's harder now. But we have is we have storyline. We have, you know, the trials and tribulations of driving across the Middle East in a rented Huracan. So we put ourselves out there more, and we just have such a really loyal audience watching the videos, but it's competitive now. Yeah, but you guys are also characters. So, you know, if you keep that up. I can always be me. Exactly. Even when I don't want to be me. It's deep, put that down. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, we're, we're, super, we're super fortunate. We worked really hard, but we had this really strong core audience where it's like, well, we realized that in Europe, and we showed into this town in this country I've never heard of, and there's 2,000 kids with bootleg DD merch on yet right after us. We're going to Cairo, uh, Jordan, uh, Thailand, Singapore for Gumball next year. So I have no idea what audience is like there. Apparently we're big in the Philippines. It's our fourth biggest English speaking country because they most speak English in the Philippines uh, outside of North American audience. So we're gonna do, we have our own merch down there now. So a company that just does merch in the Philippines. That car will get delivered, we'll go down there for two days. We'll make Mike the billionaire come with us. He hates traveling, hates weird food. He'll only eat like, the most basic food. He won't eat like a, a, a salmon roll. Right I know there's so many little like crazy experiences we've done in the past seven years. Yeah. And I come from a small town in Canada. Like, like my city I live in is like 80,000 people on an island. It's pretty small. And there's no supercars and there's no social media. No one gives a shit about this. <clears throat> anyway, we've nice. gone down that rabbit hole of the story time, but this is the shop. This is where we're building cars. Tim, you're doing a good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it, uh, there's still a lot to go. Why are you yelling? 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 So what's cool is they came, like he's a big fan obviously, which JD is super cool. I made that post like three o'clock, by seven the whole team was here, by 9.30 it's completely done. And it's ready to be moved back in, almost. Yeah. Let's do this boys. I'll try to stop swearing for you, fourth wall, so you don't have to constantly keep it out. Oh, my bad. Who's this? This new guy? That's not here yet? Doesn't exist yet. I think so, but it's not here yet. Yeah, it's not here yet. It's not here yet. Yeah, I think, I guess the only, if just for argument's sake, you, you could put the four this way and have room. What's this look suitable looks like? Just for argument's sake, I know, I know fourth wall is a fan of this. Off camera, he has quite the aggressive manner about him. We're gonna create different character voices for for fourth wall. I look at like one of those AI apps that like makes a fake voice. So people are like, whose voice is that? That's not there. there. Cause this way, this is an office. Yeah, it's probably the best use of this space. <laughs>